here I am at Route 66 Drive-In Theater in Carthage, Missouri. It's still open. They're open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And they're now showing Casper and Beetlejuice if you're in the area. Reminds me of uh, the drive-in theater by my grandma's old house when I was a kid, but I haven't seen one for decades. You can get in for eight bucks, tax included. bar and restaurant 66 and I'm going to meet up with Glenn and Denise who are going to host me tonight. Look at the chocolate freeze! Get your kicks on Route 66. <laughs> All right, thank you. I finished up in Web City last night and Glenn and Denise King picked me up and gave me a car tour of Joplin and fed me and stayed at their house which is awesome and now I'm going from Web City to Joplin on the Frisco Greenway which is mostly crushed gravel some regular gravel it's a nice four mile trail the box in the middle of the highway I think I'm at the Missouri-Kansas border, but it uh, does not say welcome to Kansas. Okay, there's State Line Liquors or Saloon. Up in there, there's the State Line. Welcome to Kansas. And Missouri is in the books. Missouri was a tough one. It was a lot hillier through the Ozarks than I thought. It was 100 degrees over the asphalt. It was 97 degrees actual temperature uh, from the Weather Bureau. Several days. It was uh, headwind most of the way, but uh, I'm through it and I'm ready for the flatlands of Kansas and then Oklahoma, and then the Panhandle of Texas, and then I'll worry about uh, the hills of New Mexico down the road. Onward. Okay, somebody has to explain this sign. There's a bridge here and it says weight limit 10 tons, passenger bus is exempt. Does that mean it's okay if a passenger bus makes it collapse? I'll have to think about that one. Hit by cars while traveling 66. I hope there are no more. And here's the 19 foot version of the muffler man. I uh, don't think he made it. So I started here, all the way over to here, down the river, Route 66, and I'm right here in this corner of Kansas, and have that to go. So hey Bruce, it's uh, 1701 to Santa Monica Pier. Okay, I better get going. Yep. I'm here in Kansas, and I brought Toto with me, taking Toto to Santa Monica. I have not seen the movie Cars yet, but apparently I need to. I'll look for it along the way. This just goes to show the bicyclists are not above the law. Although we do roll through stop signs now and then. This is the historic Rainbow Curve Bridge, which I've been hearing about for quite a while. It's the last March, Marsh Arch Bridge on Route 66. There's the Rainbow Bridge. There's the new one that replaced it. I am going to the town of Baxter Springs, Kansas, which is on Route 66, but I'm gonna turn right and skip because I wanna go see Pitcher, Oklahoma, which is a super fun site that's been abandoned. Kansas is done, short and sweet. 
I think I did about 17 or 18 miles. A little bit longer than the normal route because I went off route to go through Pitcher, Oklahoma, which is coming up soon. But uh, it was flat, it was bat tailwind. I'd say the people were nice, but I don't think I talked to anybody in Kansas. It was just riding for 17, 18 miles. On to Oklahoma. Welcome to Oklahoma. I'm uh, just a little bit north of Pitcher, Oklahoma, which is an abandoned city due to the Superfund lead zinc waste. But uh, I'll be there soon. On to a new state. And this is some of the leftover town of Pitcher, Oklahoma. Oklahoma had about 10,000 people in the 1920s. Pretty eerie, just abandoned streets and abandoned houses. So over there is a pile of chat. They cleared most of them out apparently, but the lead and zinc mining was huge. They produced over 70% of the bullets for World War I and World War II here. And two things, one, all that chat was around. It's bad for your health. And two, all these areas are undermined with mines and 87% of the town was subject to collapse, including the high school. It was the number one Superfund site and the government bought all these people out in the early 2000s. So it's not that long ago. Material that's left after you mine zinc or lead and it's somewhat toxic if you get enough of it. Apparently they've taken most of it away, but this is still here in the town of Pitcher, Oklahoma. Looks like fun to crawl up and slide down. So this is Chat, which is the leftover product from lead and zinc mining. And it basically is just gravel. But uh, apparently it's uh, bad if you get enough of it for a long enough period of time. So uh, that is what Chat is, and that's why they had to abandon the town of Pitcher, Oklahoma. That and the undermining. And uh, mom, I will wash my hands before I eat. Welcome to Commerce, Oklahoma, which of course is the home of Mickey Mantle. So I asked his family how to get to Mickey Mantle's house and he's gonna lead the way. It's about four or five blocks away. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Here is the garage that he had baseballs into. It's still all dented up from the baseballs. We're here at Mickey Mantle's boyhood home, and here's Rick. What you doing, Rick? Just replacing some of the wood here at the bottom. Some of the old siding is getting bad, so we're just kind of dressing it up a little bit. Now, what's the deal with the dents on the on the garage over here? That's where the ball. Uh huh. They threw the ball. The okay. dents on the. That's where they threw the ball here. Okay. They threw the uh, ball against this. This was the backstop. Okay. And so that's where they threw the ball and they hit the ball over this house. So Mickey and his dad would be there and then yep. they yep. hit it over the house. Hit it over the house, hit it the first. I'm not sure what type of ball they actually pitched. I'm assuming it was a regular hard ball, but that's where, that was the backstop. Mm -hmm. And the sign says he was allowed to break windows because that mean, means Mickey hit a good I good hit back when he was I young. Yep. Yep. So, Pretty. very cool. Needs a little work on that too. We got to work on that one. You're gonna be here for a while. Oh yeah, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Rick. Appreciate it. Uh -huh, bud. And this is inside Mickey Mantle's garage. It's been around a while. Wayland's hamburger, the cuckoo. Give it a shot. And this is Miami, Oklahoma. Do not say Miami. Miami. In 1922, Oklahoma built some of the Route 66, only nine foot wide to save money. And this is the only remaining part left. This is the nine foot wide section of Route 66. It was originally built in 1922 in Oklahoma and they built it only nine foot wide to save money. Uh, I think they widened it in the 30s, but this is the original. Awesome riding through Oklahoma. The roads are super smooth and I've had a tailwind most of the day either. Three quarter of the day I've had a tailwind, a quarter of the day I've had a sidewind. So making some time today. Probably gonna do 77 miles, which will be my new high for this trip. It's 
a little after six. I've got about 63 miles. Shooting for a campsite at 77. Uh, I'm about ready to lose my tailwind, so my goal was to get there before dark. I don't think I'm quite gonna make it, but I'll be close. Maybe a few miles in the dark or after sunset. It's been nice riding with a tailwind. I think the right hand turn is right up here a little bit. I am in Benita, Oklahoma. The sun is not quite set. I don't know, I'm about 77 miles and I still have about two miles to the campsite. But uh, I'm gonna get some dinner here and I'm gonna call that a win for making it here before dark. I just had dinner at Caesar's Place in Benita, Oklahoma and sat at the bar with three guys in their late 30s, early 40s from Wichita, Kansas and uh, talked to them quite a bit and then they left before me, ways before me, and I went to pay, and apparently they paid my bill and didn't even get a, I didn't even get a chance to say thank you. So, thank you, three guys from Wichita, Kansas. Okay, after dinner, I'm over 80 miles now, and campsite should be up here fairly soon. I hope so. I hope I didn't miss it. It is dark. Okay, it's about 9:20, and it was closed, but uh, I called the number, and she came out, and I have a campsite. Yay! I was kind of worried because I don't know what I would have done. I would have found a place somewhere. But... Good morning from the Park Hill Motel, RV Park, and Campsites, Benita, Oklahoma. It's a small motel and they have campsites along the back here with little electrical boxes. And down there they have the RV park. And I think that's a little common area there with and somewhat of a lake. And there's my tent and bike for my camp setup and the campsites. I'm not really sure if I was supposed to be up there or down here, but the electrical boxes are up there and it was dark when I came in. Couldn't really see what the layout was, so that's where I stayed, but I'll be leaving soon. Hi, my name's Tommy. Me and my wife are traveling across country hitchhiking. We left Kentucky two weeks ago yesterday and we are now setting in a little town called Vanita, Oklahoma. We have traveled almost 700 miles hitchhiking. But we are headed to New Mexico, Deming, New Mexico. Headed home after three years trapped in Kentucky because of the pandemic. I've had a rough time of it and I'm just ready to go. going from Washington to Pittsburgh with the CNO Canal and the Great Allegheny Passage and then across all the Midwest with all the corn and soybeans down the river and then across Missouri with its lot of wooded areas and hay and now I've come into Oklahoma and there's just wide open ranch land with some cows looking at me as they always do I'm a rock star to the cows. This one's different, says pedestrian underpass mural. Oklahoma underpass. Yep. <laughs> Here's your factoid of the day. Oklahoma's first oil well was in Chelsea, Oklahoma. Yesterday I had a tailwind and I was going about 20 miles an hour with the same effort that I'm going about seven now. I have a big headwind. So I hadn't thought of this before, but I think I'm gonna to try to take this front bag, which is a big wind block, and put it on top of that bag, which will be right behind me. That's the plan here. Well, hopefully that's more aerodynamic. I don't have the big bag here. I put it back here, which puts all the weight in the back, which isn't necessarily good. 
Hopefully I don't spend the rest of the afternoon with this thing tipping over. It is pretty top heavy, but we'll see. Just had dinner in Claremore, Oklahoma at Farley's Irish Pub. Sat at the bar next to the well, one of the partners, Chris, and uh, it's getting embarrassing, but he bought me dinner too and he wouldn't let me pay. And uh, they had a big bingo game going and the place is absolutely packed. They announced me to everybody in there and uh, it was fun. I had a good time there. I'm gonna go clean up. I might go back and have another one.